Hello everybody, welcome to the True Life Videography YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Lawrence Jenkins and uh, I'm going to show y'all how to use the gradient wipe transition. Um, let's skip through the intro. The intro I didn't really uh, do any uh, gradient wipe transitions. I just used a fade, I used a linear wipe to set up the underline and I could do an underline transition later uh, if some of y'all are not familiar with uh, the techniques to do that. My technique, I think, is pretty good, but some of y'all might know some that's even better when you're using a uh, Vegas Pro. Uh, let's see. We got, uh, uh, it's, and a lot of these, these are pretty much just pictures I took when uh, uh, me and my wife was at the uh, Tennessee Aquarium. Uh, and... Right there, I changed one of the transitions. Sorry, let's go back. Go back to the one I used. And a lot of these are, are pictures that I got off uh, Google and I uh, incorporated myself because some, um, some of the ones that's preset I like. But, you know, once you find out that you could uh, uh, be a little more flexible and... Uh, uh, you know, put in and insert your own pictures and um, your own uh, color gradients to do the transitions. Like I was, I was hooked. This is one of my favorite transitions on Vegas Pro. And uh, by the end of this video, hopefully, a lot of y'all that's not too familiar with it will uh, start using it more. But as you can see, some of the presets, the star, uh, the heart, uh, and you can see how that looks uh spiral paint splatter is something uh paint paint splatter is pretty cool let's see let's go through that right quick let me turn the volume down so y'all could uh uh put that on that track on mute so y'all could still hear me and as you see that that's a pretty cool transition because I like it because it got the uh the running is too. And, um, but let's, sh let me show you some of the ones that I did myself. Um, Mist is the one that I had in the video that, uh, I started off this, that, uh, this video with. And let me show you how that looks. It just slowly creeps. I changed the uh, threshold blend a little bit. Uh, let me stop that. I changed the threshold blend uh, a little bit. I think it was initially on zero. I put it, excuse me, I put it on a uh, 0.030. Uh, and I didn't use any of the horizontal flip, vertical flip, uh, mirror or vertical mirror. Um, but that changes the direction and changes the shape of the effect. So horizontal flip, just say if you mix that with the horizontal mirror, you have a completely different uh, uh, image now. Let's see, you know, so you could, you could have a, a image started off one way and just completely change it by a couple of clicks. Um, and then you got the gradient blur, which I'm not the, uh, biggest fan on because I, I like some of the grit, some of the grain of some of the images. I have one image that uh, uh, I use later in this uh, little slideshow that has uh, dust particles. And the dust particles actually, you know, was looking like grainy, you know. And I had the gradient blur turned down. I think, I think all the way. But we're going to get to that pretty soon. Uh, and like I said, threshold blend, that's something that I always love to play with. Let's get it back to the original. Um, you know, so you could see a lot of the fade that happens when I adjusted it from 0 0.30. I went up pretty high. Let me get it down. Let me get it down to like 75. So at 0 0.075, starting off at 0 0.030. You know, you see, I like that subtle uh, fade. And this next one I used, and I'll show you that one. Um, I call that blue gradient, but there's another picture I got off Google. 
uh, let's click on that. And so blue gradients, uh, that's what the picture originally looks like. And as you can see, once you uh, get it in there, it'll change it from color to black and white. So you don't have to uh, get a black and white image or you don't have to uh, uh, change a, a color image to black and white yourself. It automatically does that. And um, you can make it go uh, in forward or reverse. As you can see, let's start with that one. As you can see, it's going from black to white on four. So it's going, it's starting off, it's starting off uh, in the black area, and then it's fading in to the white. So let's see what it looks like on reverse. And y'all already know, but let me show you. Since we're right there, it's going from white to black. So it's going across the grayscale. If it's on four, it's going across the grayscale from black to white. And reverse is going from white to black. So that's another feature I like, you know, you get, you might, you might fall out of, uh, fall out of love with one of the, uh, gradients that you're using, uh, going forward. And then it just brings new life to it. If you just one click of your mouse and make it go reverse, it could, uh, bring new life to that gradient and the transition. All right. So we got another gradient white, and this one of my favorites. Uh, let's click on the transition properties. You got uh, kind of like a checkerboard thing I found on Google, and you can. And the great thing about it, like just say you could took that image, you could crop it a little bit, make it you know uh, a lot smaller, you know, and then you know if you wanted bigger checker, the bigger checkerboard look, you could have did that. You could start off, I had one picture uh, that it, to me it wasn't one of my favorites just because it had some other things in it, but you could have cropped that and made it like a whole lot of small squares. But I, I love this one because it, it pretty much got the complete grayscale and uh, and it takes time. It, it takes time for the effect. Like you could uh, lengthen the effect two, three seconds and it'll actually, you know, keep you like wondering which uh, part of the picture will be revealed or which part of the video will be revealed next. So let's run through this. See, see, it, you know, it's kind of subtle, you know, and the, the more different shades of the, uh, the more different shades of the, uh, the gradient, like the, the more blocks you will have in this one. All right, let's go to the next one. This one is kind of like a, a paint stroke that I found. As you can see, that's what the gradient looked like, the image. And I had it on reverse. And since it's not it's not too many uh too many different shades going across the gray grayscale, grayscale of the image, uh you know, it's pretty abrupt, but I love the little brush stroke effect that it has. But see, now let's go back to that one. So you can see it's starting off, but you can increase the fade on it. But the only thing, just say if I took it from that to 625. From around, I think it was like 417, 0.417 to 0.625. It's a little more subtle, you know, but, you know, so you could play around with it a lot. Um, the auto contrast stretch. Let's see the difference in that. You know, uh, it's trying to add a little effect to the uh contrast and you know and I, I like it because it it kind of it kind of helps the image uh, uh the gradient go smoothly uh but you could you know take it off if you don't want it uh the maintain aspect ratio keeping it the same size you know you don't have to have that it just all depends what you like you know uh so and let's skip over a couple of these and go to 
this is one I uh, took about two or three uh, brush strokes and created. And it kind of gives you the paint effect. And I will do another tutorial about how I created this. I, I created it in Vegas, but you could create it in Photoshop. You could create, you could do all this and other uh, software. But just to show some hidden gems. All right. Let me brighten this up a little more. Just add a little bit of brightness to it. So you could really see the effect. But all right, start off with a very dark picture of these. Uh, I can't remember even the name of those crabs, but some of y'all watching this could tell. But I love that effect, especially as the first stroke kind of fills in slightly. It looks like the paint is kind of running. Uh, and that's actually another one of the effects I wanted to focus on. That transition to the little green. And let's see what that one looked like. So that what the image looked like. It looked like something deep in space, another far off galaxy or whatever. But that... Uh, I thought was a real good transition with the little specks uh, left over from the previous uh, uh, picture. And to wrap up this video, let me show you this next one. Little specks, little specks in it, and it comes in. I, and I like how it slowly reveals the color and that leading to the end of the uh, slideshow. Um, but pretty much that's it. You could tell on this one, um, I had vertical flip, I had a horizontal mirror and vertical mirror in. But see, that's what the image starting off look like, looking like. So three clicks of the mouse, I had something completely different. Let me show you. Let me see if I can find that one again right there. Let me show you what that looked like. I have to turn it. Let me turn up that. Uh, let me turn up. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. Let me turn up the threshold blend. I'll probably put it at 288. A lot of times around uh, 0.250 is something that I love playing with. But at 0.288, you know, it takes away the grain a little bit. You know, I could have went down to point. Point one, but it still gives you that, you know, those little specks. That's my favorite part about the transition. Let's see, point, let's go to point one, three, four. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Still a little too abrupt, but you know, you just play with it and then. Let's see which one you like. Okay, I like that. But gradient wipes is it? You'll you'll just be looking out, looking for images, taking some of the pictures that you took, taking some of the pictures that you find on the web, and just plug and playing with uh, all the different images you could find and all the different ways that you could uh, turn them into transitions. And I, I think this is one one of the best. Uh, transitions uh, in Vegas Pro so um, hopefully that shed a little light on it for y'all uh, seeing the different ways you could use it uh, and let me show you all right that's the paint strokes let me show you a little bit about the gradient blur gradient blur is pretty much uh, self-explanatory it, it you know adds blur so it, it kind of take away some of the uh the uh, detail of the gradient but let's see you know kind of add a little and you you could you could add as much as you know of course you could add as much as you want and, you know it just to me that 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 takes away from it you know i'd rather mess around with the threshold blend more than the gradient blur But uh, but yes, 
uh hopefully y'all liked this video and liked the uh, the things that i had to say about that transition and um just a hey, as i say hit subscribe it's going to be plenty of uh uh, tutorials down the line plenty of uh different montages and things keeping y'all up to date what i'm doing here at true life videography and uh thank y'all for joining me and don't forget hit subscribe hit that like button tell everybody about uh the videos that you think that could use these uh uh tutorials so thank y'all